I had about four spots picked in this location. I've had them picked for years. I've been mean to come to this spot and haven't been able to. Finally, I got the chance to get out here and the first spot, which would have been awesome, uh, just couldn't get down the road uh, with the trailer, more like an ATV trail. Checked out some of the other ones. They weren't the best. Um, I didn't care for them so much that I was willing to drive another hour to another spot. When I literally stumbled across this one, I drove by it. Walked down here, checked it out, realized it's a little sketchy, so I didn't know if I pulled the trailer in, if I'd actually be able to um, kind of do a three-point turn and um, pull it out of here. So what I did was I backed it in, which was a little challenging. Tested my skills, I'm getting better, I'm proud to uh, say. All right, this is, uh, this is gonna be Scout's first time in the trailer ever. Come on, Scout, here you go. Well, obviously, she doesn't need that. What do you think, huh? What do you think, eh? Hey, there you go. Got the hardwood floors for you. Just hopefully no nothing sharp in there you can cut yourself on. So uh, thanks for joining us, Scouts. First trip in Eddie. Not sure how effective those will be with the snow the way it is. It's a pretty uneven spot, but the weather's supposed to get very cold, so uh, it's certainly not going to melt. Chains are frozen solid. Well, you always bring a toolbox. You never know what you're gonna eat. So when I had Eddie in my driveway, um, you know, even though it looks priceless to me, but I don't know, I have this in my head that someone might think it's worthwhile and uh, try to steal it. So in my driveway, I had a lock that's a very common one. You can see it at kind of hardware stores and stuff. It's a ball. It has a bar that goes over top here. Um, all the reviews on it, it was the first one I bought. The reviews on it, you know, basically say that it'll keep an honest uh, thief away, right? You really could cut it with some bolt cutters. Now that I'm taking Eddie and uh, leaving it on public property, you know, I could be gone for a few hours maybe a morning, maybe an afternoon fishing. Um, I'm pretty nervous about leaving it. So um, I did some research and this is the lock I settled on. Um, I think this is pretty much as heavy duty as you can get. Um, it's uh, AMP makes it, probably weighs about 10 pounds. Um, 
this is the ball that goes in here. I mean, this thing is solid and this goes around the coupling and the ball goes into there. Um, and again, like I'm not exaggerating, this weighs about 10 pounds. So how it works is this goes in and then you, you shut it. And then this goes over top of the lip and I'm talking, this looks like, you know, maybe a half inch of steel are wrapping around there. So all this does, this goes in here and clips in and then you push the, the button down there and that is it. Really, really easy to, uh, to do. So, I mean, in theory, if someone's gonna steal something, they're gonna steal it, but you would really need to work um, to get this lock off. And then as far as picking a lock goes, I went on that website, um, locksmith doctor or whatever it is i'll put a link on it and uh, he picks basically every lock possible and he did pick this one um, but he did say that he had to use a uh, basically a custom tool that he built himself and it took him a little while and he recommended this lock he basically said that um, you know the average person is not going to have the equipment that he has uh, he's got like i don't know millions of subscribers so obviously um, he's at the high end of the talent level for picking locks so the average person is certainly not going to be able to pick this lock so uh, anyways, that's uh, what I'm using. And I'm also gonna put a lock in here. Security is a big thing for me. And I would be, uh, I'd be pretty devastated if I came back and the trailer was gone. So especially, you know, if you've watched this, all the work I've done to build this trailer. So then we're gonna put this in here as well. There we go. And I put some washers in the gap so you know if you had a you know whatever you were going to cut it with the washers would spin around so you wouldn't be able to get any traction on there this is fairly solid so I mean you know there's there's locks you can put right on top of the whole thing but to me I think this is uh this is pretty solid so um this is what I'm trusting it with A lot of people in the last video asked about the fire pit. I was cooking over it and I really have dialed it in. It's a great setup for um, cooking over the fire, but I've actually modified it. And by modifying, I've really actually removed sections. Um, I don't use this panel anymore. And this is the whole reason why my buddy made it for me. He put my logo on the grill on top. So this, this goes on there 
and when there's a fire going it looks uh, looks pretty cool I'll show you some clips from a video that I did on it when I first got it um, but cooking on top of this actually is problematic it looks nice um, but I really don't use this uh, very often unless I'm just sitting by having a fire but to cook on it just take it off and you saw those steel bars that go across it um, that's how I cook on it This fan really, really circulates the heat in here once it gets going. It's uh, very, very nice to have. Well, camp is roughly set up now. I have the fire pit outside put together. We got a nice fire going in here. Scout's finally getting used to the, her environment. It's warm in here, but she's still kind of like not sure what's going on. This is the bed, which I'm going to try to work on. I'm going to try to frame it. Um, last video, I had these black totes. Um, I had three of them under there with some scrap pieces of plywood. Well, under here now is the slide out for the the rails for the slide out and then the piece of plywood for the slide out and um, I wouldn't mind starting to frame the actual height of the bed so there'll come a time when this is a little more organized but eventually this will be my kitchen counter I'm still going with this little table and the cooler underneath here pretty much in my head wrapped around that I'm going to relax and just kind of organize uh, Eddie tonight hang out with Scout uh, just kind of get everything organized and go at it uh, hard tomorrow and make the most of tomorrow for a day and the next day. One of my favorite things about having a trailer is having a glass for my beer. I'm a bit of a princess. I like drinking my beer out of a nice beer glass. Not that this is a nice beer glass, but when I'm backpacking and obviously camping in other areas, you know, you can never carry glass and cans and stuff. So one of the luxuries of being with Eddie is um, you can have a beer in a glass. I love it. Um, last video, a lot of people have watched it, which is great, but I took a lot of heat from whipping out a plastic fork. So on this trip, I was joking that I would maybe bring a Triton or some crazy steel fork, but ultimately I forgot and I'm using a plastic fork again, so feel free to type the comments. I promise I will get a more masculine, rugged fork for these meals.
Well, today was going to be the day I was going to go fishing. It got really cold overnight, snow, and it's beautiful. Uh, a lot of ice is now floating down the river. It's pretty amazing, actually, because when we got here, there was no loose ice floating down the river. So it's one of those things, fish when you can, right? Minus 19 out there right now. It's pretty brisk, so now I get to start to enjoy the benefits of having a trailer where I can stand up and have a wood stove. Eventually a little countertop. So instead of building a fire this morning, um, you know, I do like to cook outside and get a nice big fire going. But um, as I get a little more organized with my trailer, I'm gonna really enjoy uh, the benefits of being inside and nice and warm. So I'm gonna take this fan off here. We gotta be careful taking this off. This gets really hot. I'm just gonna use my cutting board and put it on. I just don't wanna damage it by grabbing it the wrong way. I'm gonna put that up there. And then this will be the first time I'm uh, actually gonna cook on the stove. I'm just gonna boil some water for coffee right now. As you can see, my water was starting to freeze. So, put it on here and let the test begin. Just for fun, we'll run a timer and see how long it takes to boil that water. That'll be good to know, actually. I can't tell you how nice it is to, uh, to be able to, first of all, stand up. I think a lot of things on YouTube right now, it's really popular, these uh, teardrop trailers and and, and everything else, which is which is great. Whatever works for you, you got to do what you got to do. Um, but this is a pretty remote campsite, right by a river, and uh, I was able to get Eddie there, uh, you know, with a little bit of work, but got him there, and that's the whole idea of why I built Eddie the size that I did. I wanted him to be uh, big enough that I would be comfortable, shower, wood stove, good sized bed. Biggest thing for me. Um, I want to be able to stand up. I want to be able to get up in the morning, stand up, and walk around. I don't got to walk around. It doesn't have to be a lot of space, but I want to be able to get up, stretch. I want to be able to get dressed, putting my pants on, standing up. Um, camping in the back of my pickup truck was great. Um, you know, there's a lot of benefits to it, but one of the things I disliked the most was getting dressed in the back of my pickup truck. I'm 6'2", so, and I'm not very flexible at the best of times. So this is probably the biggest benefit of building a trailer like this. To me, it's the best of both worlds. I'm gonna try to warm up some bagels. So maybe just try to put them on here. And then warmed up a little bit. See if that's a good idea or not. Well, we'll call that a rolling boil. Half an hour, a little longer than I thought it would be. Just gotta warm them up a little bit. And just gonna go with some peanut butter jam and coffee this morning. I normally put my coffee in my Yeti mug, but I thought I'm going to use my jet boil because the jet boil mug, the way it's designed, has a a uh, metal ring around it that uh, will elevate the mug off of the wood stove. So I think it should be the perfect thing to keep my coffee warm. I should be able to put it there and um, it's not going to damage the mug at all. And it's elevated almost an inch off so it should be the perfect uh, coffee warmer. Some coffee. Of course that gets Scout's attention. 
<laughs> this is about the biggest coffee mug you can get. So eventually when I get things done in here, I think I'm going to have a toaster on the kitchen counter because, you know, my trips are going to go from um, once in a while to, you know, I like to live in here part time. And uh, filming for you guys, making big breakfasts for videos is uh, sometimes complicated and time consuming, just not possible. So, uh, you know, the, my goal is to show you how this can be a, a real life residence and living out of here on the roads. And uh, I think a toaster is going to be uh, in the future for Eddie. might seem like a little bit of overkill for just cutting some firewood but when you're out by yourself in the middle of nowhere let's cut from a chainsaw um, could be a big problem so for the few minutes it takes to put these on I got them and uh, gives my family some peace of mind when I'm out in the woods um, you know it seems like a reasonable safety thing and people think I'm a little too safe tying up my ladder and things like that, but um, there's nobody to come save me um, quickly anyways if something goes wrong. So I mean I got these uh, chainsaw pants, you know, hopefully I never need them, but uh, what's it hurt to uh, do that, right? I also bought this uh, set up here because I wear glasses um, and I, this has got like a mesh screen, wire screen. And it's not that the electric chainsaw is very loud, but it comes with these. But uh, yeah, safety first, right? And you guys, uh, in the last video, I had a 12 inch DeWalt chainsaw that was pretty good. But I gotta be completely honest with you, um, it was okay for a small, and then I didn't even realize DeWalt made a 60 volt, uh, 16 inch chainsaw. So, um, I sold the other one and got this one, and to be honest with you, this thing is the bomb. I absolutely love this thing. I'll never use a gas chainsaw again. I did have a 20 inch uh, chainsaw, it was a Remington, and a lot of you guys asked me about the case that I was putting the 12 inch uh, DeWalt in. To be honest with you, I just swapped out the uh, gas chainsaw. So that was actually the Remington case that I was using. Unfortunately, it doesn't fit this one, this one's a little too big. But uh, I have all DeWalt tools, so going with DeWalt chainsaw just made sense to me and uh, actually just bought a lot more. So um, the battery, you know, just makes sense once you're in a certain ecosystem, you just stick with that, right? So yeah, this chainsaw is awesome. Put these out for the stove. Perfect. I'm going to try to do a little bit of that framing. i got to clear some room to actually work in there. This is my food and cooking bin. So all my, <laughs> all my pots and pans are in that one. Um, so I'm going to try to get a little bit 
I'm going to try to get a little bit of framing done on the uh, the bed. Nothing too fancy. I just used my uh, jigsaw, which I've pretty much used for the entire build of this uh, trailer. And uh, scale more than likely will have to go in the truck for a little while. Um, I'll run the run the heater for a little bit because the beauty of uh, Vichlas is they they like to be with you all the time. A Velcro dog, right? Hope you enjoyed the video. We're gonna wrap it up here, Scout and I. Thanks for joining Scout on her first trip with Eddie. Um, it's been beautiful. I hope you enjoyed it. This is just the beginning of my adventures with my trailer. Um, there's gonna be lots to see, and it's not even built yet. So uh, subscribe if you haven't already done so. And if you liked the video, I really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Cheers.